Hello everyone, welcome back to the C programming tutorials. These tutorials are brought to you by the ZDAP Technologies. Now this is a very important video of the C tutorial series because in this video we are going to introduce ourselves to the concept of arrays in C. So the first question that uh, would have come across you is what is an array? So an array is a collection of the different values of the same data type. An official definition of array states that an array is the homogeneous collection of the elements of the same data type. That means homogeneous collection basically stands for the same data type, but it is a collection of different values. Right now we have seen the different types of variables that were uh, either of type integer or float or character types variables but all those variables held only a single value but what is an array it can hold different values but all these values must be of same data type like if we are trying to create an array that can hold integer values then we can hold as many integer values in that array as we want okay so let us see that how an array is declared first of all in C. So for that purpose, what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to declare a normal variable in C so that we can compare the declarations between two. So I'm going to declare an integer variable A and that's how we can declare a variable in C, right? Now let us declare an array. So to declare an array, first of all, like the variable, you need to specify that what data type it is going to hold. That is, uh, what is the data type of the values that is going to be held by this array? So I'm going with integer, then put a space, and then you can write the name of that array. Now the same rules that uh, went with the variables, the same rules you need to follow while declaring an array as well, that is ARR. Now, uh, what is the other thing? How can you differentiate that whether it is an array or whether it is a simple variable? Well, the thing is you need to specify the size of the array. That is how many elements will that array hold? So for that, you can just put a space and within the square brackets, you need to specify the size of the array. Right now, I'm uh, creating a very small array uh, of say three integers and then put a semicolon. So that is how an array is declared in C. You need to specify within the square brackets the size of the array and the rest thing is same just as declaring a variable. Okay. Now let us talk about initialization. That is how can we initialize a variable? To initialize a variable, we can simply put an equal sign and provide it with a value say 10. Okay. Now the array over here is a little bit different because in the variable we only provided a single value but in an array we need to provide multiple values. In this case we need to provide three values. So to initialize an array what do you need to do is assignment operator is a must and then you need to group these values in curly braces. Okay. So these are the curly braces in which you can just group your values and how can you group them? Since you are required to pass three values, you just write three values, say 10. Then you need to separate the values with the help of a comma. Then provide the second value, that's 20. Again, a comma and the third value, that is 30. So that's how the values are grouped inside the curly braces while declaring an array. We had three as the size, so we provided three values. Okay. Uh, but if uh, there was five, we should uh, provide five values over here. So that is the difference between declaring a simple variable and an array in C. Let us just get rid of this line. Now, uh, what happens if you try to access this value? We know that uh, to access an integer value, we need to provide a placeholder mod D. Okay. So let us just try to print 20 from here, which is the second value. So we need to just provide the placeholder mod D because it is an integer value and then to print any of the value that belongs to an array, what we can do is we need to provide the name of the array that is ARR. Then within the square brackets, we need to provide the index of that particular value. Uh, means uh, what is the position of this value? The position is second position. This means its index is going to be one. 
the position uh, of the value is taken and one is subtracted from it to get its particular index okay so for example for this 10 we would get the index as 0 for this 20 we would get the index as 1 and for 30 we get the index as 2 so since we want to print 20 we will get the index as 1 and then we can just put a semicolon to end this print statement so let us just try to run and compile this program to see what happens 20 that's correct we have got the value now what happens if we try to print like 30 and 10 as well so we need to provide another printf statement with uh, mod d then put array's name that is err and since we provide 30 so 2 is going to be its index value and then put a comma uh, sorry a semicolon and then you can run it we got 20 and 30 but that is a cumbersome process right now our array is small it contains only three elements but it is not mandatory to be uh, of such a small size for an array an array could be as vast as holding 100 elements or 200 elements or any number of elements okay in that case writing these separate printf statements for each and every value would not have been possible so for that case what we can do is we need something that can make us perform the same task of printing the value of the array again and again and for this purpose we need a concept that we have already read about that is right a loop okay so we know that uh, a loop is used to iterate through the same task again and again until an end condition is met so we are going to declare a simple for loop through which we can perform any of the operation on an array so let us just declare a for loop we have already read it so you must know its syntax we need to declare an iterator variable say i i'm going to initialize it with zero and then i is less than equals to two the reason why i have chosen these values is because these are actually the index value that is zero one and two so this loop of i will go for three times that is for zero that is for one and that is for two and then it would be incremented by one and uh, the action that we put to it that is printf would be performed again and again then we can specify the curly braces for the body of this for loop and we can uh, accommodate this printf statement inside the for loop now the thing is uh, we need to print i need to uh, print it something like this uh, let us just see a sample output so my sample output is i want like here let's just comment it out array we need to provide the index which is nothing but say zero and we need to provide its value say 10. so this is the format of the output that i am expecting okay so to get this output what we can do is uh, first of all we need to write this as arr array then within the parenthesis we need to provide a placeholder and then put an equal sign and then this and then we can just use mod um, backslash n to make sure that we are getting into the next line after each and every printing now after the comma we need to provide two values first of all we need to provide the value of i because i is going to be 0 1 and 2 that's the index and then we need to provide the value of arr at the position i which means when the value of i is 0 this i will point to 0 and this will give the value of uh, or the index of the element at 0th position in array which is nothing but 10 and uh, with this help uh, with the help of this printf statement or this formatting we will be getting this kind of an output so if you just try to compile it and run it then you can see we have got array 0 equals 10 array 1 equals 20 array 2 equals 30 and that is a simple case of how we can just print the array elements using a for loop now a for loop is used for printing array elements that's correct but you must have noticed one thing interesting that using the for loop we can access each and every individual element of an array which means that we can perform a couple of operations over the array like if we want to initialize the element of an array if we have not initialized the elements of the array we can pass on the values the user accepted values into the different index positions of an array using the loop we can access each and every value that is printed we can update the value or perform any of the other mathematical operations if we want over the individual values of an array using a for loop 
or any other loop basically so that is the advantage of the combination of the loops and arrays in c and that is why it is very important so that's all for this video thanks for watching